In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to use your electric hookup and what to do when the lights go out. Before we start anything, we, it's always a good idea to power off the motorhome. The first thing you want to do with your electric hookup cable is take it off the drum. I'll roll it from the drum, which is this thing here, and uh, lay it all out of where you want the cable to go. Keeping the cable on the drum could actually start a fire uh, if you are pulling a lot of electricity in your motorhome. So it's best to keep the cable off of the drum just to prevent that happening. And don't forget cables are trip hazards so make sure that they are not in the way of anybody. Once you've unraveled your cable you want to plug one end of it into your motorhome. So the end you need to plug into is the one which has the holes and it normally has a flap on it as well. Um, so the holes will go into the motorhome here. So you lift the flap off of the motorhome, put the cable in, it should line up and then you push it all the way in, there's a little click, and then that's done. So this is your electric hookup box. Um, this one has uh, three connections to it, and if I lift up this flap here, uh, you'll see that there are uh, three switches, or fuse switches. Uh, they're in the up position, up means on, and then there's this big, bigger one here, and that will control all of the other three. This r orange button, do not touch that, that is for testing, uh, just leave that alone. But if this has been tripped, then one of these would be down and you'd have to push it back up again. But don't keep it pushing back up if it keeps failing. If it keeps failing, the switch will keep dropping and there's something, some other problem. Looking at the end of your electricity cable, you will see there are three pins, one bigger one which is the, uh, the earth, and then you have also this nugging on the outside. This will guide you in when you're plugging it into the, uh, the outlet here. So we lift the flap up and you'll see this, a similar view of what looks like the cable. So essentially you take the cable, you lift the flap and you just plug it in. Line it all up and then plug it in. On some campsites such as the Caravan and Motorhome Club campsites you have to also twist this as well to actually make it function. Always plug in the motorhome end of the cable first before plugging into the hookup box. This is to prevent you walking around with a, a live cable, especially when the ground's wet or it's, or it's raining. When you unplug the cable, always start off with by unplugging the end which is plugged into the unit in the campsite before unplugging from the motorhome. So once both ends of the cable have been plugged in, it's now safe to engage the power. So now you believe that everything's all hooked up, the cable's hooked up both ends, and you powered it on. Uh, now you need to check that you actually do have electricity. Now the only way in our motorhome of knowing this is looking at the fridge light here. The fridge light is on, and it's lit, but we also have an immersion here which is on and lit. If we didn't have any electric hookup, these two lights would not be on. The other way is by looking at uh, an outlet socket. Maybe you have an LED on the switch, or maybe you can plug something in to make sure that that's actually working. Somewhere in your motorhome you'll find some of these. We only have the one, but you may have more. This is called an MCB, and this is basically a fuse with a switch. So if I push it down, it's actually off and nothing in the motorhome will, will work. To turn it on, I push it back up. This one is rated at 10 amps. So if we draw more than 10 amps, that means this switch will actually pop like that. So you need to bear in mind that when you're using electricity in a motorhome or caravan, you're actually pulling a lot of power through the cables. You could be running a hairdryer, your kettle, and a toaster, and maybe even the heating. And everything's gonna be mounting up and overload the system. And when that happens, the MCB trips. So I'm, I'm gonna overload the electronics in the motorhome uh, by turning on all these devices and this is probably what happens to you when you're in your motorhome and you turn everything on uh, and it will actually trip that MCB. And when that happens locate your MCB 
and flick the switch back up. All the electric appliances should now be working. If you find that your MCB is already in the up position, you're still not getting any electricity, then uh, it may want to go outside and check the electric hookup box here. Uh, if you flip the lid and you'll notice that one of them, one of these switches here may already be down. In fact, you can see that it says off there. So all you need to do is flick it back up and you're good to go. However, if it keeps tripping or the one in your motorhome keeps tripping, then you may need to contact your campsite reception to help resolve the issue. There might be a short somewhere that you're unaware of. It could be your cable. It could be an appliance in your motorhome. So you need to check those as well. So hopefully that helps you solve your electrical problems and sorts you out with your electric hookup cable in a nice, safe manner. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos. Bye bye now.